Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your friend Jamie here from Sharon and Sea Travel. Today, guys, on the agenda, Stockholm, Sweden. One little issue that we're having, we're not actually docking in the Stockholm area. We're actually docking in Nynasham. Nynasham is about an hour away by train, which is how we'll be getting to the city today. Uh, but it's a very unique cruise port here. We are not pulling up alongside a dock, but this cruise port uh, at one point created an extendable dock. That's right, it's an extendable dock. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I mean. All right, let me give you a look right there, guys. As you can see, you see the, uh, the kind of the gray walkway with the blue bottoms on it. Well, the blue bottoms are floatable devices. And that walkway will extend out and it will actually reach the cruise ship and that will be our dock. So I wanted to come out here a little early this morning, grab myself a cup of coffee while everybody was sleeping in the cabin and see if I could get a glimpse of how this whole process is gonna work. So we'll see if that works out. I'm hoping the weather works out as well. It's a little overcast. I feel a few raindrops hitting me, but remember Stockholm, the city where we're going, that's an hour away. So we may not have to worry about any weather issues. We'll see what happens, but uh, thanks for joining us today on another adventure here on our Europe cruise, Sharon Sea Travel. It's going to be a great day. All right, and here we go, guys. You can start to see the dock separating there. Now, I read where it's about a 15-minute process altogether for that dock to get all the way out to the ship and then connect to it. All right, we'll jump back in again. It's even more separated out now. Here's a little different angle where you can really see the separation of the sections of the dock. Alright, now it's starting to get pretty close to the ship. This arm ought to swing around, connect right up where the gangway would be. It is wild to think that a few minutes ago, this thing was scrunched up at the shore. Now it's extended all the way, almost to mid-ship. And now she's getting ready to touch to the ship. And we will be officially docked here in Nynasham. That was awesome. So listen, I don't know if you guys thought that was as cool as I thought it was. Maybe being here makes it a little cooler, but um, I dare say it was worth getting up a little early. Come on out here in the brisk, chilly uh, Sweden air, Swedish air, you know what I mean, and, uh, and checking it out. So very cool, never seen anything like that before. That was the first. And now I gotta go get the crew. We gotta go get some breakfast go catch a train and head on into Stockholm for the day. All right, well, we made it off the ship here. Uh, team Sharon and Sea Travel. Today, we got Sharon, Matthew, Callie, Riley, and of course, yours truly. We got about a 15 minute walk to get to the train station and then catch a train into Stockholm. We've got our tickets already. We bought them online even before we came. So with the 903 train, we're hoping we can get there on time and hop aboard. And by the way, here's a look at the dock. We saw it come out earlier. And now it's just lined up right alongside the ship. How awesome is that? Well, I'll tell you what, this port makes it pretty easy. If you want to go into the city of Ninasham or Ninasham, depending on how you want to pronounce it, you follow the green line. And if you want to go to the train, you follow the blue line. All right, update, we're about halfway into our walk, about 10 minutes in, 10 minutes left. Go, Sharon, go. Now we finally see the line split. Well, guys, it looks like we made it. That's right, we made it. Stockholm City. There we go. Well, we made it. We are here on the train. But boy, what a brisk walk. We have been walking our butts off this trip. It is quite a trip in because we did dock at, I think Jamie told you, um, Nina Sham. So, um, you know, we have a ways to go in there, unfortunately. But you know what? It's going to be fun to take the train and we'll get a, a little beauty along the way out the window. So I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get this train going. Next stop, Stockholm City. All right, we're at the train station here. We just got off and we decided that, you know what? We better try to use the bathroom here because from what we hear that you do have to pay for the bathrooms here in Sweden and 
you have to have the exact coin in a lot of places and if you don't you're out of luck so any chance you get use the bathroom so they do refer to them as toilets here so we got off at the train station and we realized that the one at the train station you have to pay for as well so we went over and we paid it was 10 Swedish kronas per person to use the toilet um, and then we all took turns going in uh, it's so weird the way they they have to open it for you and you just wait in a line and it, it, it's crazy Wow it looks like we are in the land of never-ending escalators we came up escalators from our platform from the train now we're going up one other level and in a minute there's a huge huge escalator to go up hello girls welcome to the biggest escalator ever So this is wild, but we're making our way through the train station to get to the bus station here. And it is, I mean, it's like being on a beautiful airport. It's the craziest thing. Food everywhere, stores, drinks, souvenirs. I mean, they've got everything here. And we're just trying to make our way to the bus terminal. And we're on one more escalator going up. I mean, how far underground were we? Good Lord. All right, well, we came up all the escalators out to the streets. A little bit confusing. There's a lot of different stations. There's a subway station, a main central station, but um, we came up to a bus, very nice bus driver, uh, spoke some, some, some English with us and gave us a little bit of the info. We could have taken a tram or uh, take this bus. He told us where to get off. It's an extra two minute, three minute walk, then taking the tram. So we're down with that. Anyway, we're here, we're on a bus. We're heading to the Vasa Museum. That's why we're here. We're figuring it out as we go, guys. All right, so yes, I am a total tourist. I'm not trying to kid anybody. But I got my camera out. Look at that beautiful. It's a beautiful shot up there. Look at the area. Oh boy. It's just gorgeous. Well, we're not gonna let a little wind and rain get in the way of our fun day, are we folks? Heck no. We're gonna keep on keeping on. Sharon's up there, her umbrella's inside out. I'm tailing along the back. Just trying to keep my camera dry to get to the Vasa Museum. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, maybe I'm exaggerating, but still. Uh, it's wet and we're trying to get to where we're going. So uh, Vasa Museum coming up next. All right, so we made it here. We're all a little bit wet. Callie had the umbrella. Sharon's bundled up, Matthew's bundled up. Riley, how you doing? She says she's okay. And I'm a little wet. Luckily, I still got my poncho from the other day when we were in, uh, I forget what country, Estonia, I think. So I threw that thing on just to protect my backpack and the camera. And now we're about to get in here into the Vasa Museum. All right, we made it into the Vasa Museum. We are here. Uh, we already had our tickets, so that sped things up quite a bit, to be honest with you. And what we're looking at here is actually the ship, but I'm going to get Matthew to give you all the details because he knows way, way more than I do. All right, here we are at the Vasa Museum here in Stockholm, one of the biggest attractions in the area. You can see here behind me is the Vasa warship, uh, which was supposed to be one of Sweden's largest naval ships back in the 1600s. It was built in the 1620s and it was set out uh, being sent immediately to war against uh, the nation Poland, Lithuania. But unfortunately, uh, just as it was sent out to sea for the first time ever on its maiden voyage as it was being sent off to war, the ship, from a gust of wind, tilted over and sunk. And for over 300 years, the ship was just sunken in the ocean until excavation efforts uh, eventually they took the ship out and then they built this whole museum around the ship. So it's just a crazy story about how this ship, supposed to be one of Sweden's greatest ship at the time, uh, just a few, uh, you know, kilometers out to sea, sunk. Here's a little smaller replica of the Vasa ship that Matthew was talking about here. Another amazing look at the detail of this ship. Nothing would be complete without Sharon uh, shopping. I 
I've been wanting to get a shirt in one of the ports and I, it's just so on. Look at how cute this is. So it kind of says Vasa, but it's not. it doesn't like stand out like in a big way. I'm getting it. Okay, there you go, guys. Sharon's getting a shirt. I did a little shopping too, but one thing important here, Vasa Museum, they don't take cash, only cards. So make sure you have a card, make sure you have something that doesn't have any foreign transaction fees because they do not take um, cash here at the Vasa Museum gift shop. We just got out of the Vasa Museum and it is pouring rain. Look at this. Look at all the umbrellas. And we're gonna go to Old Town Stockholm and do some shopping. And make a note, guys, getting here a little earlier versus later is definitely a benefit because here's the line now. Holy mackerel. Holy cow. We got here and it took us about a minute to walk in. The skies are opening up too. The rain is falling. We're going to see what we end up doing here. We may have to adjust our plans. Well, it's still a very wet afternoon for us here. We're doing our best. Look at this amazing shot here. The Nordiska Museum, unbelievable. It's gorgeous. Again, architecture here, Europe, fabulous. Oh, and there's Sharon right there. I, Hi, Sharon. Hi, I'm just trying to keep our souvenirs dry. <laughs> nice job, nice job. Matthew's there, navigating. Riley's over there in her poncho. Luckily, we still had ponchos from the other day, and now we're gonna look to get a tram to Old Town, I almost said Old Town Scottsdale. Old Town Stockholm, that's where we're going. All right, team, we are going to walk down and see the Royal Palace, and then we are going to find some place to eat, and then back to the train. And in the meantime, we are just trying to keep everything dry here. So let's go. One, two, three. Woo! Let's go. Well, we are making it the best of it here. Um, it is beautiful right here. If it was a nice sunny day, it would be gorgeous to walk around this area, have something to eat right here. Wow, it is just gorgeous. But unfortunately, we brought the rain with us today. So we are making the best of it, like I said. We're not letting it get us down and we're still exploring. <laughs> All right, so we're still moving along. We're heading towards the palace, which we think might be right up here. Matthew is, he's our tour guide again. The guy's navigating, he is doing it all for us. But just look at how gorgeous it is right here off this bridge. The beauty of the old town. We just came from that direction there. I know I got some raindrops on the lens. Sorry about that, but that's gonna happen here in the rain. But what an awesome, uh, listen, I don't care. Rain, shine, we're having a good time, guys. That's what we do. So here we are at the Royal Palace here in Stockholm, Sweden. A uh, couple bits of information here. Uh, so Sweden still has a king. They still have a monarchy. However, the king, kind of like how it is in like Britain, and for example, when we went to Denmark, the king doesn't hold any real power, and they're more so a figurehead as the monarch. So right here, this is the Royal Palace. Behind, or to my left here is the interior courtyard the area we went in here is the entrance and it, it still has guards so there are guards out there who change guard um, and you know our arms and guarding the palace which I think yeah, that's pretty cool. Well here we are this is very cool this is like just being right in the right in the heart of the palace I feel like all the way up to the top let's go through these big doors and see what's outside whoa Look at that guy. Wow, that's amazing. We just stepped out of the Royal Palace, walked about, I don't know, 30, 40 yards, and now we're down a whole street with souvenirs galore. So everyone's in the souvenir shop right here. I'm gonna go in too, but I just wanna keep you guys updated. It's a little challenging here with the rain and all. But um, look at that, it's just old, just like old, just old town Stockholm. Here's a look ahead of me. And let's see what these guys are doing inside here. All right, so here we are walking the mean, mean streets of Stockholm. I know I say that all the time, but. Royal Palace over there. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, old town, Stockholm. All right, now we're heading to a bus. 
Actually, I think we're heading right to the train station. We're that close. We're just going to walk it. And then we're heading back to uh, the cruise ship in a little bit. Whew. Okay, well, we made it out of the rain. We are in the railway station again. Safe and sound. Man, there's a lot of people here for a Sunday. But uh, I think we know where we need to be. We're going to go down and try to find a little something to eat first. Sorry, I'm watching where I'm going here and not looking at the camera. And uh, once we eat, then we'll be ready for a nice hour-long train ride back to Ninesham and back to the cruise ship, right? So uh, let's get some food. All right, well, we scored here. We went to the Broad and Salt is the name of the place. Uh, these guys are looking pretty happy right here, right? Look at this. We've got some pastries going on. Riley got a salad. I grabbed some pizza. Matthew got a pastry. And I got two pastries. <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments. Is anyone surprised that Sharon got two pastries? That's unbelievable. I know. Shocker. I didn't get the pizza. Yeah, that's my pizza because look at it. There's a bunch of stuff on there. Oh, gosh. Fungi. Oh, it looks amazing. And a dipping sauce. That's beautiful. So that's it. We're going to pick out now, and then we're going to be ready to catch our train a little bit later. We're on time, and we're looking good. All right, and here we go. Back down the biggest escalator ever. That's how I know we're going the right way. Plus, we asked a very nice guy in a booth. We took the escalators down here. Just pay attention to the signs heading down. You know, you'll see your train uh, number, where it's going as the end destination and how long until it arrives. So just pay attention to that sign that you'll get to your train on time in no time. All right, so we made it, we are back. Here's a look at our train. We were just talking about the size of this train. This thing is, it's a big train. It's a big, long train. If you're watching this video and you're planning to, to come out here to Stockholm, this was a super, super easy process. This train goes one way in, one way back, and it couldn't have been easier. So. Uh, we got about 45 minutes and so we need to be back on the ship. I know you're saying, where are you guys now? Well, guess what? We decided to grab a taxi. And the taxi's right at the train station to take us back. Well, we're back in Nina Sham and back to our ship in just the dick of time. We have about 30 minutes to spare before it was back on board. So we made it. We did end up taking a taxi, as Jamie mentioned, from the Nina Sham um, train, train station where it dropped us off back to the ship. It would have been about a 20 minute walk, but we took a taxi, we were here in probably like three minutes or so. Um, so they did have several taxis lined up there. So no worries on that. And um, we're, now we're gonna head back on the ship and then just enjoy the rest of the evening. And the sun's out now. <laughs> so just when we got back all day, it's been crazy. We had our rain ja jackets on, ponchos, then off and on and um, it's just been a crazy day with the rain here, but we had so much fun. Every time we do things kind of on our own like this, we just make it an adventure and have so much fun with it. So follow along with this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that notification bell so you get notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching and happy cruising and we'll see you in the next video.